boom. Now everything is sorted, press on the button, boom. This gimbal is a cool thing. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Usually on my videos, you used to see something like this. My videos are usually about skating. Today it's gonna be about skating, but somehow not really. I'm gonna be talking about this. These are stabilizers that I use with these cameras to film skate videos. And because I'm gonna start taking stuff away that I don't need, this, 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 and this, and I'm going to keep this. This one was the only gimbal that I had that would allow me to use this camera. But if I had to use any other of my cameras, something like this, or something like the GoPro, which is usually not on this stupid thing, this is when I go outside, whatever. If I would use the GoPro or this camera, then I wouldn't be able to use the same gimbal. So this one, I'm not using it anymore. I'm trying to sell it. These three were given to me by the distributor of this company in South Africa. So they might just come and collect them soon. Anyway, this is basically the smaller version of the other one and was the one gimbal that I had that I could use this little camera, but it wouldn't allow me to put anything heavier. So is out too. And these two, they are GoPro gimbals. So if you watch the video that I've done with Min in Barcelona, I was using one of these. Basically I was using this one, which is a wearable gimbal, which means this is a gimbal that I could use on the top of my selfie stick. And then this one is just a regular GoPro gimbal that you've seen everywhere. Let me take this away. While I was in China, I was given this thing. This is called the Exxon A1S. With this thing, I can actually put from my heaviest camera to my lightest camera and it's going to work. Price-wise, this one is cheaper. It goes for around $500. And the maximum weight that I can put on this thing is 3.6 kilograms. Well, my camera with the microphone would be around 1.4, which gives me a lot of room for other accessories. Something like if I want to use a monitor on my camera or it, whatever I want to put on this camera, like a heavier lens, I can actually use with the same gimbal. But if I want to use just a GoPro or if I want to use this little one, I can still use the gimbal and it's still going to work. Just for that is cool. But there's other things that I like about this gimbal and I like them a lot. Let me just put it together and I'm not gonna show you now how to put it together. Boom. Now everything is sorted. Press on the button. Boom. This gimbal is a cool thing. One, two, three, four. Everything is tuned. So now imagine I can do this with every single camera that I got. Now, one of the cool features about this gimbal is, check this out. That's quite cool. If you've seen my last video with the USD kids, you've seen that I used this thing. DJI is calling this the inception mode. It's basically just a roll rotation thing. Now, something which I think it can make this a lot better for filming skating, because it's a fully 360 degrees gimbal, I can just go from here to here, I can go from low to high, I can do everything. That's where my egg comes. Also from the company that makes those gimbals that I just showed you, there's a new gimbal called the Weebill from Zion Jun. I don't know how to say it. I don't have one of those. This is my latest one. But in fact, I found a way to make this work even better and safer. You might have seen in some filming sets people using dual handles like this. What I do, Basically, I took one of the handles, I keep one handle only, and it's in the directions of the button. So I can hold the gimbal just like this, right? Easy. Now, big advantage is that I can go really close to the ground and I can also go high. So I can go, when I'm filming like I was filming the last time, I was just going downhill, I can just use this handle, which if you're going really fast, sometimes using one hand only, it's really helpful, but if you need two hands, it also, it can also help you. Knowing that this cable here connects to the camera means that I don't need to go and touch the camera because I can actually just press record from here. Now, what I see this being a big advantage compared to the new gimbal from Zion is this part that doesn't have the handle ends up being a protection 
for the camera. So when I go low, before the camera touches, this would touch mainly as protection for the camera. Because if I'm going to be skating 70 or 80 kilometers per hour, I don't really want my camera to touch the ground. If it touches the ground, it's not going to be easy. If it's just a handle that scratches, I also have an idea for that, which is I want to put a little bit of Velcro here and use a piece of a puck, like one of those downhill gloves that has like the puck from the thumb. This is Velcro here and I just want to... So in case I touch it, it's still not even the, the gimbal handle touching it. So that will also make the, the gimbal not suffer from any mistake that I could do. Something really cool too is because there's like a thread here, I can just basically put a screen if I want. If I want to film and if I want to see it from here, I can have a screen pointing from here, which I don't have one. I think my camera has a good enough one. And I do know that Exxon is also working on a follow focus. So I can actually have that follow focus here if I need it, which I don't really need. If you know what I'm doing, basically my videos are what I usually call as disposable. I, I try to do the videos with the heat of the moment, if that makes sense. Like if you're filming downhill, yes, of course I want to provide you the best experience that I can. A lot of the times it's just with this. But this is going to be a way for me to help my game and to bring you better visuals. So, with this being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking for a gimbal, a really good solution that will help you get good results with a lot of your cameras, from like the biggest camera that you got to the smallest camera, I'm going just to tell you again, this thing can go up to 3.6 kilograms, which is like, you can use a cinema camera here. Like, of course, not those big ones, but 3.6 kilograms, it's, it's a big payload. So you can actually put a lot of the cameras that you might even think in this gimbal and they're going to be fully stabilized or you put a lot of accessories. So I'm going to keep using these for some of my videos. Again, not all of them. Hopefully it's going to up my game a little bit. So if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in these, make sure to check the link in the description. When you buy something from one of those websites, you're actually giving me a little percentage of whatever you buy because it's an affiliate link. Could be also your way to support this channel other than the like, the thumbs up that you are going to give me to this video. And now, even if this wasn't a skate video, I just want you all to never forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers, guys, and see you soon.